Hey guys, welcome to Surf Show & Tell. I'm Noel Salas, and today's review is on my favorite surf gear that I found for 2016. I've got a, a wide range of stuff. We've got my new favorite gloves for surfing early morning. That's pretty cool, we'll get into that. We've got my favorite flip-flops because surfers love sandals. I've also even got a really cool coffee mug that I want to tell you guys about, but I've got quite a few things to talk about, so just sit back and enjoy the show. So the first thing I want to talk about is the Anti-Glove by Excel. This is new. I think they just came out a month or two ago. They're super, super thin and lightweight. And if you're, any, if you're like I am, I don't like to wear gloves. I don't even like to wear booties. But it's been getting super cold. The water's like 57. So my last year's gloves, I think I wore them two times. But they're quite a bit thicker. These are almost like surgical gloves, right? And they're real tight fitting. This I got a size small, my regular gloves a medium. I'd probably even go extra small. But they have the textured palms, so you got grip on the board and you can really feel everything. So if you're an early riser like I am, you wanna get your hands on a set of these anti-gloves by Excel. They're about $49.95 and you can find them on the Excel website. I found these reefs. They're called the Rover LE. And if you're a sandal person like I am, most people, most surfers are sandal lovers. And I've tried sandals from Rainbow, Quicksilver, Volcom. I've tried, I try them all because I'm looking for something that I can wear all day long and give me good support without my back hurting. And this, this reef sandal here has um, a spongy foam and it's almost like really gushy. And I thought, man, that could really bother my back, but I put them on and um, I've been wearing them ever since. I've had them for about three months now. They have a classic look to them. They have the, the leather uppers and they're super soft and, and really comfortable. I think for you guys that love sandals, you guys gotta try these. They're about 55 bucks. You can find them on reef.com and I'll probably get myself another pair because I like them so much. So I was given this coffee mug for Christmas. It's called a Yeti. Y-E-T-I, you can find them on yeti.com. They're about $29.95 and the whole concept is to have your cold drink stay cold for a really long time or your hot drink stay really hot. I'm the kind of guy who likes a, a hot cup of coffee and I want it to be hot the entire time. So this is about 20 ounces and I went for a surf and all the way down I'm drinking hot coffee which is awesome because usually it goes to lukewarm. And then I surfed for a couple hours, came back, and my coffee was still hot when I got out. And um, I've never had that before. So this, this, this cup's legit. I think you guys will like it if you like hot coffee like I do. So the next cool thing I found was this Hurley Phantom three-layer jacket. It has adjustable cuffs. It's completely waterproof and weatherproof, so it'll keep you warm in the wind but they've done some special construction. It reminds me of like a wetsuit that has tape. I don't know if you can zoom in on see that tape there. So they're, they're definitely keeping it waterproof. I've worn it in the rain a couple days and um, it's really comfortable. It's super light. I think that what you want in Southern California for me is if I'm gonna wear a jacket and I have to go into stores or go into work or whatever, I don't wanna have to take the jacket off, carry it, hold it. So it's nice that it's not too hot and it's not too cold. And if you're familiar with the Phantom um, construction that Hurley did, it has a four-way stretch. So the jacket's got a bit of stretch to it. And I think that it's super comfortable. It runs, I think, about 250 bucks and you can get it on Hurley.com. But I'd, I'd probably try snowboarding in this too or skiing. I think it can handle it on the, on the warmer days. So this is probably not new to you, but it's new to me. It's the Media Changing Towel by Channel Islands. It has the hood. And basically you, you put it on to take off and on your wetsuit. It goes down past my knees so you can dry off with it. It's actually um, highly functional. And uh, I should have got one of these a long time ago. This thing's great. It runs you about 64 bucks and you can get them in, on cisurfboards.com. Those of you guys that are in the market for a new backpack, check out the CI um, Essential Surf Pack. It's got a good amount of room. It's a roll top. It's um, completely waterproof inside. It'll hold two full suits and maybe my changing towel. And then 
they've done something really cool where they've got this little compartment here where you can keep all your wax, wax comb, ding repair kit, whatever. And then you open it up and it'll hold three sets of fin, maybe a leash or your fin keys, anything that you think that you need, this thing will hold it all. And you know, down when I'm down surfing trussels and the waves are small or whatever, I like carrying multiple fin sets. And then it has your water bottle, it'll hold two water bottles here. And I like that it's behind so it doesn't bang against my board or my board bag. Um, so that's killer. But these, this thing you can find for 115 on cisurfboards.com. So if you're in for a new backpack, this thing's killer. So another cool find for me for 2016 is the new Alpha Fin by Futures. I really like them. They have medium flex pattern. Most of the time I'm riding the FH, which is the large. Even though I'm 170 pounds, I still ride the large for maximum drive, especially where I surf. This is carbon and air infused, so they're super light. This fin has a wide base and it's, um, it's a pretty uh, firm flex here, but it's got a, a nice um, flexible tip so that way you get lots of spraying in and out of your turns. Um, but it does fall on the 6.5 on the ride number. And then they also make it in the F6 and the F4. The F6 is a medium, the F4 is a small, and these will go by your weight class. But what's really cool about this fin is it's made in the USA. I've only tried the thruster set. They're about roughly 65 bucks. You can find them online on futures.com or just Google them and you'll find it. But they've also made it in quad sets for you quad guys. And they're two different, two different um, sizes. One's a larger and one's a smaller. But these run for about 38 bucks. And um, I really like the Alpha. You guys should give them a try. Another great find for 2016 is the rinse kit. One of my buddies had one of these since we're always surfing trussels and there's no shower down there. So I like to shower off before I go to work so I can maximize my surf time. And he showed me this thing. It holds two gallons worth of water. It has seven different settings. The hose is roughly six, six feet long. And you hook this up to where you hook your hose up at home the, the faucet outside. Well, this is a little bit right here, right? So to fill it, it's pretty easy. You just unclick that and it has an open and closed valve. This is you screw onto the faucet and then it just clicks right in. Once it's clicked in, you open the valve, turn the water on and it fills up. It takes roughly 30 seconds. And like I said, it holds two gallons worth of water and you can get after, after it's filled, you shut the valve, pull the bip off, put the nozzle back on, put it on shower and you can shower and you can have that. It has, it, what it does is it pressurizes the water. So you can get a good stream and rinse off something and you can shower to give you roughly three minutes of water time. So they make it for the bit for outside for fresh water. You can also do hot water from your faucet inside the house with the hot water bit. And this is ideal for cold days. That's what I love it for. The other thing too is for you guys that camp or go down to Mexico or something like that, this thing's incredible. So this thing's about $89.95. You can find it on ritzkit.com. I hope you guys like it. Check it out. So one of my absolute favorite finds for 2016 is the new Fat Tire e-bike by Saunders. Now I bought this bike, it was $599 plus 200 bucks for shipping, right? And where I surf, where I like to surf anyways, is about a 15 to 20 minute walk down to Trestles. And this gets me down there in about seven minutes. And I can go there and back three times, three to four times on one charge. So. It comes with the LCD screen, which will tell you how fast you're going, your total distance traveled. It'll also tell you what the temp is outside. When it comes to you, um, they ship at UPS, and it comes in a box and you have to put it together, which they made that very simple. When you go on YouTube, you just follow the instructions and you're really only putting together a few things. It's two thirds complete. So I love this bike and for people that live close to work, you could ride this thing back and forth and um, it goes about 20 miles an hour. It is a pedal assist, but it'll go, I'd say 15 to 17 miles an hour on its own with no pedaling whatsoever. If you guys are into an electric bike, 
This is the best thing on the road right now and a bunch of my friends have them, we love it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review on my favorite finds for in surf gear for 2016. Special shout out and thanks to all the companies who participated in the review with us. Some of the stuff I paid for and other stuff was, was given specifically for the review because it was my favorite finds. If you have something special that you think other people should know about it, let's start blogging about it and start preparing for 2017. If you like the show, you can subscribe and you can follow me on Instagram under Surf Show and Tell. Take care. Bye-bye.